That's the greatest. And that's the reason why stay away from the shirk and it will be good. And after you stay away from the shirk, you go back and take care of your prayers. Entire five prayers. You take care of your prayers and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, listen, I am going to grant you your provision. I am going, I'm going to grant you that I will give you something that you will pay your rent, your bills, your everything. Do not mind too much. Don't think too much about your bills. Think too much about how you are going to pray to Allah Ta'ala by completing three things in the prayers. One of them Allah mentioned it in Surah Al-Mu'minun and Allah mentioned it in Surah Al-Ma'arij. Allah said, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَوَاتِهِ يُحَافِذُونَ مُؤْمِنُونَ those who are mindful. Mindful means you always look at the time. You will come and take the picture and you will go. Prayers of Salat al Fajr, 515, Zul 130. This mindful. You are mindful to the prayers. Okay? 740, 48, that's Maghrib. You are mindful to the prayers. And Allah mentioned the same Surah Al Ma'ad. He said, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ First one, عَلَى صَلَوَاتِهِمْ Second one, عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِذُونَ Number one. And number two, and you are going to be humble in your prayers. It means you will concentrate when you pray. And I said, don't think too much about your life. How I am going to get food. How I am going to pay my bills. How I am going to get a provision. How I am going to get money. And I said, don't think about it too much. Especially when you come to pray. And I said, for those who are always concentrating, they are focused. They are always being, uh, uh, what do you call it? They are always concentrated, humble in their prayers. That's number two. And number three, in Surah Al-Ma'ali, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ دَائِمُونَ Those who are praying in Jama'ah constantly. They try as much as they call. Every Dhuhr Jama'ah, Asr Jama'ah, Maghrib Jama'ah, Isha Jama'ah, Fajr Jama'ah, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ دَائِمُونَ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you take care of this properly, these three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لا نسألك رزقا وأمر أهلك بالصلاة واستبر عليها لا نسألك رزقا نحن نرزقك وإياه Allah said, if you take care of this and you try as much as you could if you have a family to make your family also be mindful Pray humbly to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Get in Jama'at constantly pray on time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you keep this tree in the same to your family, you always command your family. Allah said, I will never ask you how you're going to pay your bills. I am going to, that will be my responsibility to help you to pay your bills. Ask me for that one. That one, I'm the one, it's my duty. It's my duty to help you to pay your bills. And I'm going to help you also to take care of the bills, provision, clothes, shelter for your family. Take care of your prayers. Let's put the five daily prayers. Maybe it's too long for us. How I'm going to keep all these five in one time? I'm not usually doing that one. It's too hard for me to keep all the five. Okay. If you cannot keep the five, keep the two of them. Because this is the two that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes in two ayat in the Quran strongly. One of them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Aqim is salah. Liduluki shams ila ghasaq al layl wa Quran al fajr. Inna Quran al fajr kana mashhoor. I'm saying that it's not just a khutbah, it is a learning also. Ilmi, we are learning too. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, in number one, Allah said, keep, keep with you, establish, pay attention to the five daily prayers. It means the morning evening. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, pay more attention. That's his emphasizing now. Pay more attention for Salat al-Fajr wa Quran al-Fajr. Inna Quran al-Fajr kana mashbuda. And Allah said, now, pay more attention to the Fajr prayer. Because that is the praise that uh, the entire angels that with you are going to witness at the same time. Do you know how many angels with you? Five angels. You have two angels on your shoulder who are right and right. 
The two angels, Allah called them, Lahum mu'aqibat min bayni yadayhu min khalfi. Two angels who are protecting you, one in front of you and one behind you. That's is two. And the one angel who is inspired you to the good, they call him Ba'ith al-Khayr. That's the name, his name is Ba'ith al-Khayr. Five angels with you. In every blessed Fajr, all the five angels they will be are the five who are going to come and take over. It's a shift. The five and the five become ten. All the ten of them, they are going to come and observe the Fajr, fajr with you. And the five, the first five who spent the night with you or the day with you, they will go to Allah Taala and present your deed, your work. And Allah will ask them that what is doing, how he is doing, how Muhammad Ibrahim, how is doing. And then Yusuf will say that we just left him, he died of Salat and Fajr. We just left him. All of them will say this one. Meanwhile, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows better than them, and all of them they witness for you, and that witness will be will be testified the day of the judgment. That witness will be testified the day of the judgment. Five, the next day five, the next day five. You have 50 years, you may have maybe one more than one million. More than one million witness for you, all the angels. That's enough. Let's go to the number two. And number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Hafidhu ala salawat, wa salat al wusta. Allah Ta'ala said, be mindful. Have the shaykh means to be mindful and protect it. Be mindful means you always look at the time and you come on time. 5, 15, 1, 30, you come on time. That's the meaning of the heaven. You are mindful. You always is in your mind. You're thinking about it. You're always thinking about it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Hafidhu ala salat, ala salawat, be mindful to the, all the five daily prayers. Then he said, was salat al -wusta. And be extra mindful. Be extra mindful to the middle prayers. That is salat al asr. See, now it's two now. Now it's two now. Maybe somebody will say that, no, I cannot take care of her. The both of the two because I'm not getting use of it. I don't do it, but I want it. Now we're going to make it easy for you. If you keep one of them, first is five, right? Now it's two. If you keep one of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to make it easy for you to have all the five. One of them. Which one of them is that? It is Salat al-Fajr. Why did you see this, Imam? Why do you say the Salat al-Fajr if I keep all the time? Come in and observe Salat al-Fajr. It's going to be easy for me to have all the five daily prayers on time. The reason it is... Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Salat al-Fajr, we already mentioned that. That is the Salat that the entire your ten angels are going to pray it on time. And they will give the witness to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. That's the one. And number two, Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala told him that, Bashr al-Masha'in fi al-Zulam bin-Nud al-Tamba yawm al-Qiyama the day of the judgment when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises us, the first resurrection, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise us in the darkness. Then the angels are going to the angel, or uh, what's called the angel who's having the, 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 the trumpet, the horn, is going to blow the horn. We're going to hear the, the, horn, the, the sound of the horn, and everybody will go towards where the horn is coming from. And it was darkness and you have to go you have to go and since you have to go and it was darkness you need a light that can make you proceed you need a light that can make you walk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أُنْذُرُونَ أَنَّقُوا تَابِسْ مِنْ نُورِكُمْ قِيلَ ارْجِعُوا وَرَاءَكُمْ فَالْتَمِسُوا نُورًا فَضُرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُورٍ لَهُ بَابَ بَاطِلُهُ فِيهِ الرَّحْمَةِ وَظَاهِرُهُ مِنْ قِبَلِهِ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ تَرَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَسْعَى نُورُهُمْ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَبِأَيْمَانِهِمْ بُشْرَاكُمُ الْيَوْمَ هَذِهِ كُلُّ مِنْ سُورَةِ الْحَدِيدِ بَوْفْ آيَاتِ سُورَةِ الْحَدِيدِ يَوْمَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى سَيَدْ يَوْمَ تَرَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ When the believers who pray Salat al-Fajr all the time, Messenger of Allah said, give that guidance, give. 
the good news for those who are praying the Fajr all the time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised them Bashar, Allah promised them is going to get, give them full light that can make them proceed when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise them the day of the judgment Allah will give them full right Rabbana atimim lana nurana in Surah Tahrim, right? Rabbana atimim lana nurana waqfin lana Allah will give them full their, their light and they're going to walk by that light and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the hypocrites, people who are lying to themselves pretending, liars liars and jokers okay, liars and jokers deceivers, bad evil people who are not sincere to Allah wa ta'ala, they know what exactly they wanted, and those ones they will call the good believers who spend their time you need money right, that's why you cannot pay the fajr, and this person doesn't like money he doesn't have family he doesn't have bills, and he's coming to the fajr and now you are calling him now you want from your light Allah said, tell him that. Now go back and get the light because we get it in this dunya. That's the way it is. And that is the way. And Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, again, again, he said, Takafal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bihifdihim wa riayatihim. Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever prays salat al fajr, man salat al fajr, fahuwa fi dhimmatillah. Whoever prays salat al fajr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He promised to protect you. He promised to protect you. And Allah said, فَلَا يَطْلِبَنَّكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي ذِمَّتِهِ بِشَيْءٍ فَيُدْرِكُهُ فَيَكُبُّهُ فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمُ Whom Allah said, whomever I protect, I give promise to protect him. I have a covenant, I have to protect that person. Any one of you who is going to wrong that person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I am going to burn that person in the day of the judgment. That's why when you come to the mosque, you have to look after you finish. Look at the brothers who are coming to the mosque. Be careful from them. Don't touch them. Because they are under the dhimmat Allah. Hum tahta dhimmat Allah. They are under the protection of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you touch them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, he's going to have a battle with you. Man aada li waliyam faqad aadantuhu. Bil harb in this dunya all the way to the akhirah. Don't touch these people. Everyone who knows that he comes to the masjid in Fajr, for who are mu'min, if they are out to already, we are tied to the masjid, chasat in al-Fajr, for shahadu lahu bi iman. He said, believe it, be careful from him. Okay? Ibad Allah, this one we make it very quickly. The reason why I'm saying that Fajr is very important. And the next one, Messenger of Allah said, if you want to dictate for yourself, to test yourself to see whether you are a hypocrite or not. Dictate yourself to Salat al Fajr. If coming to Salat al Fajr is easy for you to come to the Salat al Fajr, that means you are a true believer, you are not a hypocrite. And if you cannot come to Salat al Fajr, Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you are in danger. In the Salat al Munafiqeen, Salat al Fajr was Salat al Isha. لو يعلمون ما فيهما لاتوهما ولو حبوا لاتوهما ولو حبوا مثل ما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم the most heaviest prayers that dictates shows the faith whether you are a hypocrite or not is salat al-fajr and مثل ما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم said come to the salat al-fajr if you had no what is the benefit of coming to salat al-fajr and salat al-isha Messenger of Allah said, La atawhuma, you will come for these two prayers. Wala have one even if you are going to crawl in. Wala have one even if you are going to crawl in. A companion said that you are going to see a believer who is sick. You have a bayna ragulaynu. Two men are going to hold his shoulders and they will bring him to Salat al Fajr. Why? Because that is the most dangerous prayer. If you cannot observe Salat al Fajr, you are in big problem. You have to know that we are in danger, we are in big problem. Salat al-Fajr is the most, one of the dangerous prayers that can dictate whether you are a munafiq or not. And that's the reason why the companion who narrated this hadith is Abdullah ibn Masul, and he said that, لَقَدْ رَأَيْتُنَا وَمَا يَتَخَلَّفُ عَنْهَا إِلَّا مُنَافِقٌ مَعَلُومٌ نِفَاقُهُ Allahu Akbar. Abu Hurairah said that, when during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
We used to look for those who are not coming to the masjid. And we will find them that the only munafiks who are well known as munafiks, they are the ones who are not observing the Salat al-Fajr. And that's why a companion, if he did not come to Salat al-Fajr today, even if he's going to die, he will come the next day. Because if they do not found him two days, three days, four days, then they're going to categorize him as a munafiq. Because they do not categorize him with their mouth. They only categorize him with their brain. You don't come to Salat al-Fajr for one week, and you're not sick, and I see you driving. What are you going to tell me? Yes, even if I don't say it, you already know your name. You know your name, right? You are hypocrites. You are munafiq. وَمَا يَتَخَلَّفُ عَنْهَا إِلَّا مُنَافِقٌ مَعْلُومٌ نِفَاقُهُ That's what Sayyidah said. This is the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari and Muslim. Ibad Allah. May Allah Ta'ala have the name of Asim. Salat al-Fajr is the prayer that Allah Sallallahu Alaihi said. Masjid al-Baradayn. If you always pray Asim and Fajr, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala granted you the Jannah. If you always pray Salat al-Fajr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the entire prayer easy for you because you have to go to the Jannah. By going to the Jannah, your prayers have to be completed. By completing your prayer, that Allah will make it easy for you to do the rest of the prayers. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense to me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted you Jannah in order for you to go to the Jannah. And Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Awwalu ma yuhasabu bihi abdu yawm al-qiyamati salata. The first thing that Allah will question you, the day of the judgment, it is about your prayers. If your prayers is complete, everything will be complete automatically. Then you have to go to the Jannah. That means if you constantly pray Salat al-Fajr with the humble, and you are kind, you are mindful Salat al-Fajr, Allah will make entire prayers easy for you. That's why I tell you that if you cannot handle all the five, keep Fajr, and the Fajr will make entire prayers will be easy for you. And do you know what is most the most, 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 what what most the, the most amazing part of it? Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Layya li jannah, ahad salla qabla tulwa al-shamsi wa qabla ghurubiha." Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "There is no one ever would go to the hellfire. Never. That means this one we call it mabda'iyan initially. No one initially will go to the hellfire. Who prays?" Fajr constantly in the masjid with the jama'ah. Prayer Salat al-Asr constantly in the masjid with the jama'ah. We never go to the hellfire initially. It means many, many Muslims will go to the hellfire and come back to the Jannah, right? Many, many Muslims, yes. According to your scale, okay? According to your sins. Coming to much of sins, you have to go and get your punishment in the hellfire and come back to the Jannah. Is there? May Allah subhanahu wa forbid us from the hellfire. That messenger of Allah sallam said, Whoever prays a fajr and asr constantly, he will never go to the hellfire. The hellfire is haram upon him. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, harama ala nari man salla qabla tulu'i al-fajr wa qabla gurubiha. It's haram for you to go to the hellfire. Your flesh is haram for, for, for hellfire to touch you. Ibad Allah, what else we wanted? And the last one of Salat al-Fajr. Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Salat al-Fajr. If you pray Salat al-Isha in Jama'ah, Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah will give you the reward of somebody who prays all the half of the night. And if you pray Salat al-Subah in Jama'ah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the reward of somebody who prays the entire night. That's why some of the As-Salaf al-Salaf are saying that if you pray Salat al-Fajr, Salat al-Isha in Jama'ah, and you pray Salat al-Fajr, you know you will pray Salat al-Fajr in Jama'ah, you don't need even to get up and pray in the night. Allah will give you the entire reward of somebody who prays in the night. Somebody will tell you that I couldn't come to the Masjid of Salat al-Isha, and that's why I pray whole night. I couldn't come to Salat al-Fajr. That's why I pray whole night. And you pray Isha in Jama'ah, and you pray Fajr in Jama'ah, you are going to have the reward of Isha. And you will have the reward of the Fajr, and you will have the entire reward that he has also. By only praying these two prayers in Jama'ah. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. That's the reason why Messenger of Allah وسلم, he wanted from us to observe, to witness Fajr prayers. And that's why he's saying that. Raka'atan al Fajr, khayrun mida dunya wa ma fiha. Why we don't want to come to the Fajr? Is it because of the dunya? 
Messenger of Allah said that in the two rakah before the Fajr, if you pray it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the reward. That will be more than the dunya in everything that's in the dunya. And you will see it in your scale the judgment. Two rakah before the Fajr. Rakah time in Fajr. Khairun min al dunya wa mafiyah. Ibad Allah. I don't prolong it for you. This is the main reason why Salat al Fajr it is very important. But when it comes to Salat al Asr, it is not, but it's, that, that is the most dangerous prayers. That's why I'm going to give you just three hadiths of it so that you'll be careful from that prayer. So, some scholars have said that untouchable prayer it is Salat al Fajr. Some scholars have said that unvalid and, and, and a prayer that you cannot violate, you cannot abuse. You cannot take it right. It is Salat al-Asr. If you be careful for, if you did not be careful for Salat al-Asr, you destroy your dunya in Akhirah. Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in this hadith, Salat al-Fajr, Salat al-Asr is the prayer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presented and gave to many, many, many nations before us. And they couldn't do it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you pray Salat al-Asr, for each prayer of Salat al-Asr, Allah will give you double reward. Two rewards of Salat al-Asr in Jama'ah, if you do it in Jama'ah. Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about Salat al-Asr, Man tarak al-Asr habit amalu. Whoever intentionally waited till Salat al-Asr, pass him. Or somebody who is always neglect, somebody who is always being unmindful to the Salat al-Asr, فَقَدْ حَبِتُ عَمَلُوا Everything that is going to do, Allah will destroy it. That is the part of the danger. You fast the month of Ramadan. You, you try to waste your effort in the month of Ramadan. And after the month of Ramadan, you cannot press Salat al-Asr. Everything that you do in the month of Ramadan, حَبِتُ عَمَلُوا Allah will destroy all. You see, that's more dangerous prayers, right? You fast the month of Ramadan. Messenger of Allah said, Man taraka salat al asr, habibu amaluhu. Whoever does not be mindful, and the person is always being carelessness. Somebody who is not and careful is not careful salat al asr. Somebody who is not be mindful salat al asr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy everything good that he does. In the last hadith, Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man taraka. So he said that in this hadith, Man fatatuhu salat al-asr, faqad watira ahlahu wa ma'ana. Faka'annama watira ahlahu wa ma'ana. The Sunnah of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever is missing salat al-asr, you miss salat al-asr in jama'ah. Some of the scholars say it's in jama'ah. Man watira, man tarak, man, man, man fatatuhu salat al-asr. It means whoever misses salat al-asr in jama'ah. Some scholars said no. It is the time. Whoever misses the time of Salat al-Asr, فَقَدْ وَتِرَ فَكَأَنَّمَا وَتِرَ أَهْلَهُ وَمَالَهُ It seems like that person, he lost entire his family. وَمَالَهُ It seems like that person, he lost entire his properties. You're thinking that you have a family. Meanwhile, you miss Salat al-Asr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he already take the spirit, take the spirit, that's in your house and Allah took it. Now you have a dead family. You have nothing. And if you are thinking about your job, your business, your money, your properties, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already take the spirit of your properties. You think you have property, you have nothing. You will do everything but you always suffering. Suffer. Your family are giving you a problem. Okay, your business, your job is giving you a problem. Why? Because of Salat al asr The most dangerous price is this. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless all of us and guide all of us. And it is all about learning. Number one, we got a month of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the taqwa. You have taqwa, you get the dunya, you get akhirah. In order for us to preserve that taqwa, it is for us to stay away from the shirk. We stay away from the shirk, we save. The first thing for us to preserve our taqwa is to keep our five daily prayers. Even if we don't know how to keep our five daily prayers, we should keep two of them, Fajr and Asr. Even if we cannot take the two of them, we should keep only one of them, Fajr. Allah will help us to keep the rest, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. Allah wa sallam wa sallam ala nabawati nadir. Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam taslima kathira. Wa ridallahumma in khulafai rashidin. Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali. 
وعن بقية أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأن معهم بمنك وكرمك حسنك رب العالمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداءنا أعداء الدين وصل اللهم إبارك الموحدين في كل مكان ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تجي قلوبنا بعد إذا هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وقوموا إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله